Hello, welcome to the Excel Olympics YouTube channel. My name is Gaspar Kamish, I can't make Excel MVP from Slovenia. And today I want to talk about the biggest boost to my Power BI game in 2021. So this actually happened in December and it's all to do with that simplest of simplest visualizations in Power BI, which is the card. Now, let me first try to explain everything I always thought was wrong with the card built into Power BI or, or the things I really didn't like and still don't like about it. So if I just create a simple report and let's just go, let's bring in year, let's create a slicer out of that and let's bring it as a drop down. So like this, and then I'll bring in the card, right? So a card visual, and I don't even know where I dropped it. So let's just do it again. There it is. And I'll show a simple attendance, right? Something like this. Okay. And then I'll just create another one. So I'll, I'll do attendance, but this time I'll do it by, let's do it by Let's do it by a category of courses like this, right? And here, here's the first thing I really, really hate about it. It's all of Power BI and all the visualizations in Power BI, they're supposed to be dynamic or responsive as we call them, right? Do you see how that everything changes? The axis changes, everything changes as you're making it smaller or bigger. Now here's what happens with a card if you make it smaller or bigger. That doesn't seem right, right? Well, and it's due to a simple fact that almost the only property that uh, the card has is the text size. And that text size is fixed. So it's 45 can be above it, can be below it. It's not responsive because it keeps that size, right? Now, where I'm having problems with this or where I always had problems with this was, and if I just went for a mobile layout, right? And I brought in the card, you see it doesn't work. And even at that size, it's very big, but it doesn't work. I have to make it bigger. Here's the size in which this card would work, but if the number was bigger, usually the cards actually have to be like this big. And that's a lot of real estate, right? So what once upon a time, what we did was, um, and this is a so Excel guy solution, is you would create a copy of this, right? And then within a copy, you would make that text much smaller, right? So you would say this should be like 18, right? So you'd make it really small. And then you would go and take that card and you would actually hide it behind another visual. Now, the reason you would do that is, so when you're looking at a report, you don't even see it. You don't know it's there, right? Sometimes you would notice it as things are loading because you would see it and then the, the chart would pop up and you wouldn't see it anymore. Uh, but it, it just, you know, it, it wouldn't break the flow. It, it would work. But then if you would go for the mobile, you can now say, don't give me this card. Give me this one, the smaller one, right? Because this one can only take this much real estate. And now I can bring three of them up there, maybe even four if if it's small numbers, right? Uh, so that was right off the bat, the first thing I always hated about these cards, the responsiveness. And the second thing is you can only show one thing, right? What, what if I want it, show me that, but just a comparison to a previous year. And then what, what, what I would also want is 
a comparison to previous year and how much smaller it is and then how much smaller it is percentage wise right and to have all those four values you will actually need to create four different measures and four different cards right and that just you know it never set well with me so through time there were lots and lots of different card visuals but because i was always a zebra bi fan so i would always go for visualizations like this i would always have problems with making those different uh, custom visuals work with within the ibcs or the zebra bi world right so what happened in december is in december this dropped a new visual which is zebra bi cards now this one i love so here's here's how this one works what you do is you still give it a base measure right it's showing that measure but it is a bit more responsive than the other one is right but then you can also do this you can say well okay so i got attendees but i also have attendees for previous year there it is and as i include that right off the bat i get well here's your number here you have the, the percentage difference but if i click on it i could also have a fixed difference but if i click on it again i could have both of those always present so just by including these two numbers and you can see them both here you can already see all four values right within this right now this card includes a sort of a graphic detail and the graphic detail you know you could always change what type of a chart that is uh, but first you would really need to add something to it and what you would add is something like this but first i want to show something else so first i'm going to suppress the chart i'm just going to say give me just the basic card right and i'm going to go for the basic view of this now watch this if i now go bring in the category right and i put it in here in group right off the bat i have four or five cards did you see that now of course these you know you can do anything you want with these but the good thing about it is if i now bring back the the chart right i could add another thing to it i could add a trend and the trend will sort of be just month right and now this this is something right and then i could just go for one card make it bigger change the chart of that one card create a different one on another card if one card being larger meant good and another one being smaller meant good i could change that so each card can be adjusted individually by size by order and by what it's showing so with this one i could say show me both of those remember the other one stayed the same so this pure brilliance as far as i'm concerned and then the basic layout can have two different layouts and what you can do is you can also set these as a sort of a table right it will look something like this and if i would change the chart now which again will not work very well because uh, some of the data is missing you can see that here right because we only held these uh, courses in some months and not in others but you can see that we have a spark line in here right so this is now just a simple 
chart. And what I can also do at this point is I could say, okay, now I have a trend. And since this, these are KPIs, right? Usually you would want to view them in two different ways, either the whole year. Let me, let me just do something here. Let me bring in year just as I did before. So let me bring in year. Let me make that a drop down. Oops. There it is. So let me make that a drop down and let me select 20. There it is. Right. So what I could do here is I could show the whole year, which is always a good thing to have. But during the year, if I'm really into give me comparison to last month, and if I'm only checking the last month, I could change this into the last month. See how this is now showing me only December, whereas this was the whole year. Brilliant, brilliant thing. Uh, but usually, you would be watching these differently. You would be watching them like this. Now, another thing that's very cool here, do you see how some of these icons are bigger, some are smaller? Because they're dependent on the value that they're showing. So just by looking at them, you know that the difference is big or small. And then there's another thing here. With, with, with the card, you can go two steps further. And I'll only show you one. So with a card, you can go straight to the tooltip. So I could say, well, this one, let me just turn the tooltip on and let's say it will show me this tooltip. And if I now go here, there it is, All right? So within Power BI, these two classes were held at these two levels in that month. And if I now find Excel somewhere in here, which would be here, go for a month, there it is. Those are the Excel classes that were held in that month. Pure brilliance. And then another thing that it has, it has a drill down. You can change all these icons. So there's so many things to like about this. Um, but basically to me, it was just a victory of finally a car that is responsive and that can show multiple things and even calculate things so you don't need to write a gazillion measures uh, and and one that would actually respond to categories and here's just a little thing i did um, so a sort of a little kpi dashboard of from these from these this data and you can see all this is done by using one single visual and that is the new card and i think it really shows very well the brilliance of uh, the new card visual and all that it can do so this when this came out when zebra bi put this out that was right out of the box the biggest boost to my power bi game of 2021 Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.